Okay, and I know everybody wants to see inside this thing. Um, so if you open it up, you'll see, uh, first thing you'll notice is the battery is huge. Uh, it's, it's very large. Um, the other thing you'll notice is lots of shielding. So there's uh, four sections that are shielded. Uh, the input section, the output section, uh, there's a, a middle section, and then another section. So I'm not sure what those are yet. Uh, there's a, a SD card at the very bottom next to a USB-C. Uh, there's a ribbon cable that goes to the display. And otherwise, uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. The uh, battery is um, 3.7 volts at 300 milliamps, so that's pretty heavy duty. And here's a closer view of the, uh, of the board with all of the cans on it. The cans just clip into little clips so they're easy to remove. They're not soldered on. Uh, the main processor is a uh, is a uh, ST32, uh, and no surprise there. Uh, looks like it's running at eight megahertz. Uh, there's another chip next to it, which I I think is probably an E squared prom, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, that's probably. That's probably something different. I don't. I don't know what that chip is. Okay, uh, this uh, is for this uh, internals is for the Tiny SA Ultra version four point five point one. Interesting little uh, circular ground section there. All right, so I've removed the first can, which is the uh, input can, and uh, there is a. The little six pan chip, I believe, is probably a, a, a switch or attenuators. Uh, I think it's a switch. And then uh, the big chip, I think, is the attenuator. All right, lifting off the can in the center there, uh, we see the, the main mixer. Um, so it's a, a nice, healthy mixer. And we also see the two saw filters. So those are the uh, IF uh, filters. This is a, the filters are similar to the design of the Tiny SA. They also have saw filters in them. And then removing the uh, can from the top. This is the RF output, the Cal output and the RF output. Um, so that's, that's all there. Tried to get a good picture of that chip, which is that one there I'm not familiar with. And then there's a second section, which is the VF, uh, basically the main, the main VFO, the programmable VFO. Uh, looks like its main crystal is 30 megahertz. Oh, here's a closer look. It's an ADF4350. So uh, that was just a quick view of all the internals. I know people will want to see the construction of this thing. I think it's going to make a good Christmas present, so people will probably want to order one. I hear they're already sold out. Um, I believe there was 90 units built in the initial build, and uh, people have told me that they're on the waiting list now.